You're familiar with the GPS technology in your smartphone. This enables you to determine your position with meter level accuracy as shown by the green dots right in front of me. However, such uh, positioning accuracy can only enable you to use your smartphone for hiking, navigation and other applications. However, in the surveying industry, as well as at the school of surveying, we usually use GPS technology costing tens of thousands of dollars to obtain centimeter level positioning as shown by the blue dots. Such centimeter level positioning accuracy is needed for cadastral surveying, construction engineering and other type of applications. In the last couple of years, however, at the School of Surveying, we have now illustrated with a mass market smartphone that it can also enab enable such centimeter level positioning accuracy. This requires sophisticated algorithms and mathematical models that we research here at the School of Surveying. And such centimeter level accuracy in your smartphone can of course enable a range of other applications outside the surveying industry. You could think of autonomous vehicles, car lane keeping, earthquake monitoring, tsunami warning systems, etc. In the following, we are going to show you the positioning performance you can obtain today in your smartphone if you track the global navigation satellite systems. We track such data here at the School Surveying at the University of Otago in Dunedin, New Zealand. At top, the grey circles indicate the corresponding tracked satellites. On the left-hand side, for each second of data, the green dots correspond to the corresponding location that you will obtain in your smartphone today. And as we can see, the locations deviate several meters from the true location. On the right hand side, the blue dots on the other hand shows the corresponding solution you would get if you would use our algorithms and mathematical models that we research here at the School of Surveying. And we need a 5 cm level zoom in to see the corresponding solutions. If we now fast forward to a couple minutes of data, we can see on the right hand side that the repeatability of such solutions remain at the centimeter level, as also indicated by its 99.9% .9 confidence ellipse. Whereas if you look on the left hand side, we can see that the corresponding solutions remain at the meter level range, as also indicated by its confidence ellipse. If we now look at a larger data set and fast forward in time, say one hour of data, we can see on the right hand side a few solutions at the meter level, as indicated by the red dots, whereas the majority of the solutions remain within the centimeter level range. And if we now look at a larger data set being 5 hours, 50 minutes and 40 seconds, we can see on the right hand side less than 5% of the solutions at the meter level as again indicated by the red dots, whereas more than 95% of the solutions remain within the centimeter level range. And the size of its corresponding 99.9% .9 confidence ellipse is similar more or less to the diameter of $1 New Zealand coin.